Over 20 years ago, Judge Walter Baker Harris had the insight to, to know that he had outgrown the Madison County Courthouse. And this building, which was the old un Student Union for Union University, became the Madison County Juvenile Court Building. Um, this has served our community um, magnificently. We have had um, cases and weddings and memories, and um, it's been wonderful. But we have outgrown this building. We have um, outgrown the ability to, uh, we have, we've outspent the ability to keep this in compliance with the uh, ADA. We're not using uh, the majority of this building because of asbestos reasons. We are not uh, linked to juvenile court services and the detention center is separate from this building. And the goal would be for us to combine this building with the juvenile court services building and house one facility and allow us to have at least 32 to 40 beds for youth that we can house for Madison County and other counties and allow us to also be effective uh, and good citizens of county funds in order that we can spend the money that we're spending now for utilities and trying to keep this building in compliance and keep the doors open and the juvenile court services building into a facility that will serve children and families and will also cut costs by allowing us to increase perhaps the court costs that we collect now and to contract with other counties to serve their youth in our detention facility and also to allow us to collaborate with other agencies so that we can better meet the needs of our citizens of Madison County. We are doing this because it is a need. It is, uh, it is not a wish and a want. It is an absolute need and we are in a crisis when it comes to beds for juveniles to be housed. We are in a uh, in a situation where there are needed changes that need to be made to both buildings, but um, from a financial standpoint, the funds for our citizens would be best served by building a facility on the property next to, to the Criminal Justice Center where the Elmary Mary Lane Courts were located, where we can also be a one-stop shop for people who need to visit the courthouse they can come to our facility, they can come to the CJC. Currently, we receive our food and our supplies from the Criminal Justice Center, which allows us to have, ex which requires us to have extra staff. This would allow us to uh, be next to the facility that we're uh, using on a daily basis. And this is something that has not been a, a quick decision. This has been a long-term, much thought out, much planned process that would be put in the hands of the county commission and the citizens of Madison County. Certainly not my decision and not anyone in our building, but we have done our research and we have done our planning and we would like to present that to the powers of uh, the county commission and give that to the people of Madison County to get insight into what everyone else thinks is best and also provide information that might help them to make that decision. And I think after everyone hears what we, what we propose and what we can do to help, that we're gonna have everybody on board.